Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790 AM. Brought to you proudly by the Tennessee Wildlife and Resources Agency. Hey, welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray as we roll in on this uh, June the 19th. uh, Exactly 10 days to my wife's birthday, so you can go ahead and start sending gifts. Uh, if you want to, just send them in care of me. That's what it matters to uh, That means she won't get them. Oh, my goodness. But, uh, hey, we're going to roll in right now. You heard that voice. That's There's only there's, – I know there's more Wongs than Smiths in the world, but we got the number one Wong right here and Ron Wong uh, just back from the Bassmaster Classic, and we're going to talk fishing on about the next three or four segments. And I wanted to kick it off with, with the guy that's been on this show, and, and I know uh, – We've also had uh, Matt Jensen on the show many times. That's our Rapala folks uh, from Minnetoka, Minnesota. And that's uh, this is DQ himself. And as I said before, I talked to Dan Quinn. When I think of DQ, I think of Dan Quinn. I think of Dairy Queen. So maybe I'll get some promotion by mentioning that on wow. the air right now. Good morning there, Dan. How you doing? <laughs> Good morning, guys. Thanks for having me on. Glad to, glad to have you. I'd like your observation from Fort Worth. You were there. Uh, and we're going to talk to Hank Cherry. We're going to talk some more uh, on this thing. But uh, from your standpoint, in your new position now as uh, Director of Field Promotions for Rapala USA, uh, w- what was your observation from being having it in Fort Worth? I thought it was phenomenal. I really did. Fort Worth is a really, really cool place. There was a lot of just a great venue for the tournament. Ray Roberts was a great lake. Fishing was tough here and there for the guys, but um, I thought it was just a great place to have it. Texas is a great state, very welcoming, and, yeah, a lot of fun. I thought it was a really well-done event. Well, I'm sorry I missed you there, Dan, because I thought I had made the rounds of all of the buildings. <laughs> you missed uh, one. You guys you guys were in the main expo building, weren't you? Or were you in we one had, of the stalls? Had, we didn't have an actual Rapala booth there. Okay. Okay. We typically partner with retail and kind yeah, of right. run our booth through the retailer that we partner up with. But this year there was such a, a lack of retail just due to this whole supply chain things we're, we're yes, dealing yeah. with right now. But That's um, right. Yeah. So, so Matt, Matt and I were there making the rounds, just saying hi and, and checking everything out. So it was kind of a well, little bit of a fun deal. I know you probably uh, made one of the trips to one of your local restaurants and got some good beef brisket and <laughs> and smoked short ribs uh hey we haven't been in the show 12 stuff. we haven't been in the show 15 minutes and ron's already talking food dan i'm sorry <laughs> we we do that a I lot can relate. Uh, oh, okay we do that a lot well talk <laughs> let's talk about man a, a new position you've been with them 10 years uh what what about uh Rapala usa uh, i mean uh the longevity you guys, it's almost like a family up there in Minnetoka. So talk about your new position. Well, yeah, it's it's a pretty humbling and honored to work for, for such an iconic company as Rapala with all the, the deep history and um, such a wide spread of brands and lures. It's uh, it's cool. And my, with this new role, it's, it's one I've been more or less doing for a number of years. And it's kind of a, yes. yeah. it's a the natural progression as I manage these professional fishermen all you know from bass and walleye to salmon and you name it we've got pro staff and i manage them all and i I interact with them a lot i fish with them a lot so that i i end up gaining a lot of knowledge and insight into upcoming trends and techniques and lures so i just i've become a filter if you will for a product (laughs) development team to just pass along information and kind of you know learn how to filter it and understand how to work with these guys but it's it's fun honestly i've got a, a dream job and uh it requires me to be on the water every now and then <laughs> yes and yeah can't complain about that no no, no and you, know? you did did you hear what he said now right in that conversation now here we go again we talked to matt jensen many times about this rapala rapala mm-hmm. now he said rapala that's right. you said rapala Oh, no, I said Rapala. You did say Rapala. Yeah. You sure? Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah. It used to be Rapala, but now that I have learned. Dan. <laughs> uh, You've learned. <laughs> I, will, I will assume that you guys are going to be at ICAST this year, which is yes. next month. And uh, can what you a, give our list? Can you give Matt our list? I will be there, but we won't have our booth this year. Okay. It's uh, just kind of an off year. with We had to commit early in having uh-huh. our finished root. 
right. over in Finland. They were a little more conservative, and we are we won't have our booth, our usual booth, but okay. I'm sure next year we'll be back to it. But Matt well, and I will be there. Well, we'll try to hook well, up, and uh, yeah, I've need got to, your cell phone number here. We'll try to hook up. And we'll up, try right. to hook up with you. Yeah. And uh, although you won't be there, I know that uh, uh, Rampla always comes out with new things, new colors. Um, can you tell our listeners uh, a sneak preview of what they might see this fall from Rapala? We have some really, really cool new lures coming. All we, right. Um, have had, had a lot of success with um, Ot, working with Ot Defoe on a, the OG Slim. I see that. I see that cause the, we got Ot later in the show, and I, I'm already. <laughs> he's going to talk about it. Yeah, you said it. This is set up. Have you already talked to Ot about this, Dan? I mean, because, I mean, what, <laughs> he's already told me about, no, i got to mention the Slim. And I said, I didn't know who he was talking about. Yeah, you know? that's, that's, that's his. So go, uh, so go ahead. We want to hear more about that one. Because he used it. Well, he used it. He's already won. It's a prototype he used. Yeah, too. yeah, yeah. So talk about that that, that Slim. <laughs> well, that was a production one on the Harris chain that he won. Oh, really? So that, was a col- wow. that was a color. He threw a few colors that will be new for iCast. Uh-huh. But, um, <laughs> I don't know. I I might be a little annoyed if I spill the beans. We've got another OG bait coming. Okay, that's all that. we need I'll to know. Let, okay, right. Leave yeah. it up to him how much he wants to say. But no, Ots uh, Ots as good as they come. He's a good friend, and right. we we do a lot of work together. And he's uh, he's awesome. Are really you going like to have that bait art. in the uh, bad lipstick color? Oh, the bad lipstick color. Come on, bad now. lipstick. Yeah, I th- that one's going to be. For the walleye world, with the ripping wrap and jigging wrap, and yeah, those ooh, types of I, ooh, We're not look doing at it that. In the past, but <laughs> I'm looking at, um, I'm looking at it right now, Dan. Wow, that's cool, man. Yeah, that's, that, that'll it work. is cool. It's that'll a, work for bass. Those, oh, for sure, bass will bite that. Only because it's it really looks, catered it's, towards the a bluegill, the Great Lakes market. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, that's what when 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 I talked to Ott and he talked about the OG Slim crankbait. Yeah. And what it meant for him on the Harris chain of lakes, and then I see this one, and I'm saying, <laughs> golly! So you guys, even though you're not at some of these shows, the production still rolls on. I mean, uh, it's it's part of your family, and and folks, I got to tell you, I brought me here. It is. It's my own uh, Rapala law, loud rattling, the ripping rap. Yep. Autographed by the man himself who made the lure in Finland. Now, I can't read what he, he could have been. It could have been, I don't know who it might have been. But anyway, Matt Jensen sent me this, Dan. And so I'm assuming he didn't sign this. But I'm telling you, Ron Wong's already wanting six of these. I can tell you that right now. That Helsinki Shad is one <laughs> one awesome color. And that's a great bait. That's, that's a uh, great bait. That, 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 we that. don't even need Dan on the show. We're just talking. On, we're, we're selling things for him right here. You know, so. So what are some of the other things you guys yeah. got coming out? Yeah, Dan? tell us, Dan. We have, oh, man, we have a ton of good stuff. Um, we have an extension to our DT lineup, which is really exciting. Okay. It's been a long time wow. coming to, to add a new new size in the DT family, which is real exciting. And um, What sizes are those? Uh, currently, we have a 4, a 6, six a 10, 10, 14, 16, 20. That's right. You have a 20? Oh yeah, that's we a great do. Bag. Yeah, that is a yeah, it has a little metal disc in the left. That's the DT twenty. So we're add, adding to that. I mean, a lot of really, really good guaranteed home run products. People mm-hmm. are going to be really excited well, about if, a lot of this stuff. Well, if I'm not mistaken, I, and I'm, my math isn't very good, but this is the 85th anniversary of this uh, wonderful company, 1936. When old Laurie, yeah, nine, ever since nineteen thirty-six, it's been, eighty-five it's been years. So, if anybody has one of the original lures, what would that be worth today, Rod? I, you I probably know, do. But I will tell you, well, I have in my possession, yeah, a a Rapala, um I think it was a size seven uh, that my dad bought. Oh, really? In nineteen fifty-seven. And they they've been in business twenty one years already by then. Yeah, and, and and that was when the the minnow bait itself became Came out. very yeah. very popular in the U.S. Yeah, and they were very very hard to get at one time, and 
And I know my dad babied that thing forever. <laughs> uh, it's got a lot of teeth marks on it. Yeah. I babied it, and I still have it. You although, still got it? Yeah, and it doesn't look very good because it's, well, it sure caught it's so many it. fish. But uh, well, it's uh, an awesome bait. And, and it, uh, that's just a testament to what the Rapala uh, lures are all about. And you guys, Dan, you know, just like the originals, all of your baits that you guys come out with, are tank tested and made to run true out of the box, aren't they? That is a fact. Yep, hand tuned and tank tested, and I have personally witnessed it, and it is a sight to see. As a a fisherman and a lover of rappel my whole life, to actually see it take place was real. It was just, it was special. Yeah. I mean, it was really impressive. And you open a box and grab your new lure out there will be watermarks on every single one of them <laughs> yep that's pretty impressive that's awesome. and, and before we let you go of course you're still lo- located in minnetonka minnesota which adds to the mystique folks uh if you're wondering where <laughs> many many tonka is tell our listeners what, what are you what, what are you close to because i don't i know you have you have a museum there, don't many you? tonka lake is an awesome lake to be fishing too there you go so what's it close to it is we're Minnetonka is kind of right on the west side of the Twin Cities. That's what I thought, yeah. Kind of yeah. Centrally located in the state. But, yeah, we're just surrounded by lakes here. We're really fortunate to uh, uh, have some amazing fishing. And uh, it gets a little cold in the wintertime, not going to lie. But <laughs> now we've been fighting heat. We, we can't get rid of this heat. But well, we're, we're in the 90s. We've hit 100 a couple times already. It's wow, crazy. my goodness. But, well, that's a bit worse than here. Dan Quinn, thank you, buddy. DQ. That doesn't mean right. that does not mean disqualified or Dairy Queen. Okay, it's Dan Quinn in the new <laughs> new position. Tell every, tell Matt Jensen and all the folks hello from outdoors to Larry Ray, and we'll stay in touch and look out for Ron down there at Icast. Okay, Dan. See you there. All well, right. Sounds great, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Have a Bye-bye. great one. Let's take a break. We're outdoors to Larry Ray. Be right back.